Uh, this essay is about uh, <laughs> it's about my high school education, um, and it's kind of bipolar in a sense. Uh, I moved from New Jersey to Pennsylvania, from Pennsylvania, New Jersey to Mount Lebanon, Pennsylvania, and I went from above average student to what I considered a dumb student. Um, and that was a mistake in my part because I went from a above average student in an average school district to the 19th best school system in the entire country. Having said that, that advantage I should have had um, became a really a drawback until halfway through my life and I realized I made a mistake that being what I considered dumb in the 19th best school system was <laughs> above average. Um, but that was kind of the negative part of Mount Lebanon for me. And I'm being absolutely honest with you, if I could, if my life depended on it, and I had to say what was the most important learning that I had in high school, Again, it was something I didn't like to do. I had to memorize a hundred lines of poetry or prose every semester for four years. <laughs> to say that I detested that um, is an understatement, comma, but every day of my life since high school, I have either used in an essay or an article or in teaching at least one or two things I memorized in high school. I mean, I, I, <clears throat> it'd be interesting to know how many other high school students that went to Mount Lebanon still look back upon their memorization of prose and poetry. But it is a part of my life. And I mean, a day does not go by that I don't use one or more poems or, or parts of poems or prose. Um, I mean, just trust me. And so this essay is about is about that phenomenon in kind of a strange way. It, it's. I get the fact that you can have people as president who act like the village idiot. I get that. I mean, I get the fact that, that in millions of people in America, that there can be one or two people that aren't quite as smart as they think they are. What I don't get are the lemmings in Congress. Those who follow the person who thinks he's smart. And I guarantee you, if, if I could sit down and, and talk to these people, I can't believe they believe a half or 20, 25% or 10% of what Donald the Dumb says, comma, but. They were in lockstep with the lemmings. And at 75 years of age, I don't know how to change it. But some people, <laughs> Some people in Congress are going to have to man up. So, um, appreciate your time listening and watching this video and my venting, uh, but I also appreciate you reading this essay. And you take care and good luck.